Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the class once again. Are you all ready to learn more Japanese? New verb forms and more about Japan? Well, if that is the case, then well, let, let us do something new today. Let us learn how to say that I can do a certain thing in Japanese. Also, some new simple kanjis which we have earlier done as words, something new about Japan and of course, lot of other expressions and vocabulary. So, well before that, as we always do, we will go over our assignments and let us see what you have done. So, well the first assignment, you have some pictures in this assignment, some words are given here and you have to match with the pictures. So, the first one is naka, neko wa hako no naka ni imasu. Then we have ue which is over here, tanaka san wa zo san no hana no ue ni imasu. Urusai, urusai desu, sumimasen, chotto yamete kudasai. So, shite sumetai, sumetai as in touch, sumetai desu, kori wa sumetai desu, muzukashi, mondai is muzukashi, so well, mondai wa muzukashi desu kara, tanaka san wa ima kangaite imasu. Then we have shiroi, and what is shiroi? Gohan wa shiroi desu. Then, ushiro, buta san desu ne, buta san, buta san, ushiro desu, the back, behind, back side. Atsui, ima atsui desu. So, shite nagai, shinkansen wa nagai desu. So, well this was exercise 1. Well, let us see what we have here and you are to tell what they are doing. So, well you have to practice your te imas form or the continuous form. So, well the first te imas or continuous form is ki te imas, ki te imas, listening, utatte imas, singing or this could also be gita o hite imasu. Hiku is the verb, hiite imasu. Then we have hataraite imasu. Tanaka san wa hataraite imasu. Then Tanaka san wa ima biru o nonde imasu. Oji san tsukarete imasu. Kodomo tachi wa okaasan to issho ni asonde imasu. Tanaka san wa oishi gohan o oishi niku o tabete imasu. So shite ima shosetsu o yonde imasu. So well this is continuous tense te imasu and de imasu form you will see again over here that you have ITE, you have TTE, you have NDE, you have only TE for group 2 and you have again TE over here for group 2. So well, you have to keep in mind that group 1 is TTE most of the time and group 2 is TE. Now, Combine the sentences 
with te form of the verb and make one meaningful sentence. The sentences are given over here, you are supposed to combine them. I am sure you can do this on your own without me having to read it out to you. You will notice over here, watashi wa uchi e kaete gohan o tabete terubi o mimasu. What you have to see in te form is that the order is very clearly given. Uchi e kaete gohan o tabete terubi o mimasu. So, after this I will do this and then I will do this. Now, there are a lot of pictures here and you have to write expressions or phrases. What do you do in this situation? When you enter office or classroom or maybe your jimusho, what do you do? Well, what do you say in the morning? When you enter, you can see the sun shining bright. So, well, it is Ohio gozaimasu and men just say Ohio just by raising your hand. The second one is this person has just stepped on someone's foot. So, well, what do you say? Sumimasen. You could also say gomen nasai. Well, the third one is someone comes knocking, inquiring about you. Is someone around? Is someone there? Well, it is gomen kudasai again with a rising intonation. Gomen kudasai is someone around and then over here someone is writing a report or probably writing an exam or maybe just working and this gentleman over here is about to leave. So, well what does he say? Gambatte ne meaning work hard. I hope you did it well and everything is all right. You are comfortable now speaking in the language, comfortable with conversation. So, well we will do something new today. We will do I can write kanji. I have the ability to perform a certain action. Well, the first thing is the radio conversation which we will listen to and then we will do the explanation. Ima nodo ga kawakimashita kara nani ka nomitai desu. Nani wo nomimasu ka? Nan demo ii desu. Sumetai mono wo nomimashou. Sumimasen. So, well, here is the conversation. I will read it out to you once and then I will explain. A san to B san no kaiwa des. Sore de yomimasne. Ima nodo ga kawakimashita kara nani ka nomitai des. Ima now, nodo is throat, ga kawakimashita, it is dry, kara is reason, nani ka, something, nomitai this, I want to have. My throat is dry, thus I want to have something. Ima nodo ga kawakimashita kara, nani ka, nomitai this. You can also use plain form over here, kawaita kara, nani ka, nomitai this. Nani wo nomimasu ka? Nan demo ii desu. Anything is all right. Sumetai mono o nomimashou. We just did sumetai in our assignment. Sumetai is cold, not as in weather, but as in touch. Sumetai mono o nomimashou. Sumimasen. Sumetai mono o nomimasen. So, direct I will not have. Sumetai mono, mono is things actually with sumetai mono when you add it like this or make one word out of it then it means something cold o nomimasen. And now well doshite meaning why, why do you want to have this or why you do not want to have a certain thing. Nodo ga itai kara nomenai. Nodo is again as I told you throat ga itai kara. So, you are giving reason over here. Thus, I will not 
have, I cannot have, nome nai. Ja, sumetai mono o nomanai de, atsui kocha o nomi masho. So, well, let us not have something cold, let us have something hot. So, we have three words over here, kawakimashita, which means dry, nomenai, which shows that I cannot have something and nomimasen, a direct no over here. So, let us see, this of course, is again in the script and you can practice your hiragana and your kanji over here. Some kanjis are a little difficult, but well, you should be able to recognize them even if you cannot write them. This is your translation. Sometimes it may sound very odd. For example, my throat is dry is a literal translation. I want to drink something. That is not what you would say in English. You would say something entirely different. Well, I am thirsty. Let us have something to drink. So, literal translations sometimes seem very odd. Now, there was a word in the beginning, nani. Nani. Nani ka. We have done this earlier also. Nani ka means something. So, well, nani o nomi mas ka or nani o tabe mas mas ka nani o nomi mas ka nani o tabe mas ka direct question watashi wa juice o nomimasu watashi wa keiki o tabemasu direct answer direct question nani ka nomimasu ka will you have something nani o nomimasu ka polite question what will you have nani ka nomimasu ka will you have something ie what should the answer be ie nani mo nomi masen ie nani mo nomi masen nani ka nomimasu ka ie nani mo nomi masen or you could also say hai juice o o nomi mas so well there are there are different combinations i have it here for you we'll do it from here you can see very clearly nani o nomimasu ka juice o nomimasu or nani mo nomi Masen, I will not have anything. Or you could also say, nan demo i desu. Anything is all right. So, for this question, any answer could be there. Juice o nomimasu, juice o nomimasen, nan demo i desu. Or you could also ask, nani ka nomimasu ka? Iie, nani mo nomimasen. I do not want to have anything. Or, iie, nani mo nomitaku nai i don't want to drink anything then you could also have nani o nomitai desu ka nani mo nomitaku nai i don't want to have anything or you could also say kocha o nomitai i want to have kocha then you could also ask a question nani ga ii desu ka what would you like to have what do you prefer? Nani ga ii desu ka? Juice ga ii desu. I would prefer juice. Or you could also say, nan demo ii desu. Anything is all right. So, there is a difference in all of these. Please try to go over it, see, practice, and you will be more comfortable. Nani o nomimasu ka? Nani ka nomimasu ka? Nani o nomitai desu ka? And nani ga ii desu ka? And of course, you could also name the thing you want to offer to the person. For example, 
ジュースを飲みたいですか紅茶を飲みたいですか Or, in a polite way, over here, instead of this, you could ask, コーチャはいかがですかコーヒーはいかがですか So, they could say, ジュースは、ジュースがいいです。Or, コーヒーがいいです。Or, コーヒーを飲みます。ジュースを飲みます。So, over here, you could use these, 何か、何でも、何も、何を、何が、any of these and ask your partner practice and feel more comfortable. Now we had done verb in te form plus kuda sai. Tabete kuda sai. Tabete. Kuda sai. Now this is please eat. Tabete kuda sai. Please drink. Nonde kuda sai. Please read. Yunde kuda sai. Please sit. Suwatte kuda sai. So now, how would you, how would you say, please do not do this action? Well, it comes from, you have done iki masen negative. You have done yomi masen, nomi masen. So what is the negative? Ik a nai. So, i ka nai, yo ma nai, no ma nai. Now, you just need to add, add de kuda sai over here. Remove the i from here, i ka na i de kuda sai, yo ma na i de kuda sai. No ma nai de kuda sai. I will just write it down for you over here. Yo ma nai de kuda sai. No ma nai de kuda sai. Ika nai de kudasai. Tabe nai de kudasai. So please do not drink, please do not read, please do not eat, and please do not go. Te kudasai and de kudasai. Now you can practice over here. There is a picture of these two people. Taking this dog for a walk, and someone is eating ice cream. So, well, tabete kudasai, please eat. And what is the negative? I told you just now, mai nichi ice cream o tabe nai de kudasai. Then we have someone has had lot of beer, probably, or wine to drink, and is singing and dancing. So, well, non de kudasai, please drink is the te kudasai form and then taksan osake o nomanai de kudasai. Osake is liquor or the Japanese local rice liquor which is very popular. Taksan osake o nomanai de kudasai, please do not drink too much osake or another te form could be utatte kudasai, please sing or utawanai de kudasai. Now, we have been doing te form a lot in these past lessons. We have done te kudasai, te imas. We have done two te forms in succession and imas 
Now, today we will do verb in te form plus kara, verb in te form plus kara. If you remember this kara, we have practiced in another way earlier with I adjectives, for example, giving reason itai, itai kara iki masen. You have also done it with plain verbs in your previous lesson. Koko ni aru kara tsukai mas. So well, atama ga itai kara. My head is paining. Thus, thus I will not go. Or it is over here. Thus, I will use it. So, you are giving reason over here. This is not reason, please. Verb in te form plus kara. You will see from the kaiwa over here. This is a kaiwa between Tanaka san and Rao san. I will just read it out to you. Rao san, shigoto ga owatte kara nani wo shimasu ka? Uchi e kaette kodomo to asobimasu. Mai nichi so shimasu ka? Iie doki doki shimasu. So well, shigoto is work. Rao san, shigoto ga owatte kara. Owatte kara is after your work is over. And when you are using this form, it is always in the future. You are talking of future. After your work is over, then what will you do? So, it is not present, it is future. You can see now from here, Rao san, shigoto ga owatte kara nani wo shimasu ka? What do you do when your work finishes? Uchi e kaette. I generally go home and play with my children. Mai nichi so shimasu ka? You do it every day. Iie toki doki shimasu. So, it is not happening in the present, it is not past, it is just inquiry 1 and then it is also always for future action that has not happened as yet. So, please with te and kara form remember that the action is not over, it will happen sometime later. We will practice te kara form over here. Kaisha e itte nani wo shimasu ka? Kaisha e itte bucho to sodan shite repoto o kakimasu. So, what will you do once you reach office? Itte nani wo shimasu ka? Well, kaisha e itte bucho to sodan shite. Sodan is I will talk to him, I will consult him and then Repoto o kaki mas. So it is all happening later. Well, there is another one. Tanaka san is taking a bath. So well, uchi e kaette kara nani wo shimasu ka? What do you do once you reach home? Well, uchi e kaette shawa o abi mas. So once I reach home, after that I will take a shower. So in your previous lesson, you did te imas, lot of te verbs, you say a lot of things in one sentence. Well, with kara, you make it very, very clear that this is the jumban, this is the serial, this is how I perform my activities one after the other. Now, as I told you, we are going to do verb in potential form, which is showing that I am able to, I can perform a certain activity. Now, how do you come to this form? How do you make this form? There are various ways, but the simplest way which is easy to learn and memorize, I will tell you right away. Iki mas, yomi mas, nomi mas. Kaki mas, suwari 
mass. So, you have this in mass form. The simplest way to remember this is remove the i over here and put e instead, which is a in Japanese, a in Japanese, and you will get the potential form for group 1, which we are going to do today. We will cover group 2 next time, because there is a different way of making potential form for group 2. So, well, ikemasu, yomemasu, nomemasu, kakemasu and suaremasu. I can sit, I can read, I can eat, I can do form. So, you can repeat after me once. The plain form of the verb is given here. Ikemasu, kaemasu, I can buy, nomemasu, I can drink, yomemasu, I can read, hanasemasu, kakemasu, I can write, arukemasu, I can walk, hakobemasu, I can shift or move something and dekimasu is group 3 for suru which is to do, dekimasu is for do meaning I have the ability to perform a certain activity, to be able to do something. So, this is an exception. Instead of suru, we have dekiru for group 3. Now, practice this. What is he doing? He is reading, yomimasu. So, well, Rao-san, nihongo ga yomemasu ka? Can you read Japanese? Hai, daijoubu desu. Yomemasu yo or yomemasu. Now, he has a plaster. He is trying to walk and well, is all right now. So, you can ask, Rao-san, daijoubu desu ka? Arukemasu ka? Hai, daijoubu desu. Arukemasu. And then we have another one over here. Rao-san is trying to push this trolley or this huge almira and what does he say? Rao-san, hitori de hakobemasu ka? Hitori is alone. Hitori de hakobemasu ka? Can you shift it alone? Well, hai hakobemasu or hai daijobu desu. Now, you will notice there is a ga over here. So far, we have not used ga like this. We have used ga in a different manner, sumimasen desu ga. Over here, ga is for ability. You are stating something very strongly that I am able to perform this or do this. You are stating a fact, what you know. Thus, with ga, you put emphasis on what you are saying. So, well, you should always try to put ga with potential form. Now, we always do kanji and there are a lot of kanji characters today. You have done these characters as words and we will try to do the kanji today. Let us see. The first kanji character that we have over here is onna. Onna. We have done this word onna no hito. Onna no hito. Hito also you have done. The character for onna is a simple character 1, 2 and 3. It is a 3 stroke character 1, 2 and 3 like this. Onna. Onna no hito. Onna no Hito. Hito. Onna no hito. Hai. The three stroke character you can see. The next one we have over here is otoko. You have also done otoko no hito. You have done otoko no hito. Now the the character for otoko no hito is very simple. 
Have you done? Do you remember doing this character with Tanaka-san or Yamada-san? Well, one, two, three, four, five. And what does this look like? This looks like ka mi kami. Kami no ka. Kami is paper. Ka mi. Quite similar to ka. This is otoko. Otoko meaning danse, meaning man. Onna no hito means woman or a lady. Otoko no hito. So, very simple once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and like this. So, let us see how many strokes there are. There are 7 strokes to this character. Now, very simple you have done this word onna no hito. We have done onna no hito over here just now. Well, if I if I make this on top like this, this becomes yasui which is chi. Kono megane wa yasui desu. Kono megane wa yasui desu. Kono pen wa yasui desu or kono megane wa takai desu. So, yasui for you over here once again one. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Yasu. Simple from Onna no Hito. We are trying to do these characters which are simple, which you can understand, which you can memorize easily. It is a 6 stroke character. You have done Onna no Hito already and then there is another one, Jose. Se means gender. So, this is feminine gender, Jose or a young girl and otoko no hito or danse which is masculine gender. So, these are the words use them in your conversation. Now, there is a small expression for you. Well, there is oji san who has fallen and we have Tanaka san who is watching from a little far and he sees him falling. What does he do? Well, ara oji san ga taoremashita. So, a simple statement ara oji san has fallen. Taoremashita is fallen, has fallen. Komatta na itte mimasu. Komatta na is what shall I do? Komatta na. Ko, komatta. Komatta is a little a situation where I really do not know what to do. Komatta. Komatta na. Komatta na. Itte mimas. I will go and see what is the matter. Ara oji san ga taoremashita. Doshimasho. You can also say doshimasho. What shall I do when you are talking to yourself? Komatta na itte And then he picks up oji san and what does he do? Oji san daijobu desu ka? Is everything all right with you? Kyu kyu sha o yobimashou ka? Shall I call an ambulance? And what does oji san say? Totally lost. Iie daijobu desu. Guai ga chotto warui kara. I am feeling a little bad. Guai is my general feeling is not very good. Ga chotto warui desu. It is a little bad and he leaves it incomplete again does not want to say everything. Iie daijobu desu. I am all right. Guai ga chotto warui kara. I fell. Thank you very much. Arigato. If you know these expressions, you know where to use them, you understand them, your language naturally becomes better, you can communicate better with people. You can, you can talk in any situation to anyone and you also understand what the culture is with these expressions of any place. There is katakana for you as we do 
always ra, we have the ra series, ra you can see only two strokes to this, re again two strokes, this is a little longer, e a e, e is almost equal in re it is a little longer, ra re, ru again two strokes very angular, very sharp, re just a single stroke straight and ro as in kuchi. So, you can learn this, these are simple, you have it now all in front of you in one sheet and you can see ra, ri, ru, re and ro all very pointed, very angular, but easy to remember. Now, as we have been doing a kotowaza in each class and kotowaza as I told you last time is using words very smartly, very intelligently to say something in short. So, well there is another kotowaza for you over here. Kotowaza also tells you about the country, about the people about the culture of that place, how people behave, how they interact. It has generally these kotowaza, these sayings, these proverbs have a very long history and they have evolved from some happening sometime and are used now as these very intelligent sayings, words, sentences which you can use to say something, teach someone something. So, well over here there is a new kotowaza today. Look at the picture over here, there is a bird and there is a dog and he is laughing, has a very amused look in the cartoon over here. He is pointing at something and just laughing. Now, what exactly it is? It is a bird hidden over here. The bird has just hidden its head and the tail can be seen very clearly. So, even though the bird is thinking that it is hidden, no one can see it, but it has just hidden its head. Now, what it means is that to have an ostrich like attitude where you just go and hide your head and feel that all the worries, all the problems are gone does not help anyway. You are still exposed, whether it is danger, whether it is a problem just by hiding your head, by running away from something, you do not gain anything at all. So, the bird after probably seeing the dog hid itself behind a bush, behind this big leaf thinking that the dog could not or will not be able to see it, but the tail is very clearly visible and the dog can see and easily you know what is going to happen, it is going to pounce and finish the but now let us see what the proverb in Japanese says. It is given over here in kanji and in hiragana and it is atama o kakushite shiri kakusazu meaning you hide your head, but you do not hide your backside, you do not hide your back. So, just by hiding your head, you cannot run away from problems. As you can see, hide one's head, but not the back. That is the literal translation of the proverb and over here in English, it is equivalent to an ostrich like attitude. A big bird like ostrich just goes and hides its head in a bush and the whole body is still exposed. One cannot run away from what one has to do and has to face it boldly. Well, this is kanji used in the kotowaza, atama kakusu is to hide and oshiri is the back. Proverb tells you a lot about the culture and it says a lot in very few words. That is what the saying says, 
do not have an ostrich like attitude where you hide your head and think everything is hidden and nobody can see you and also not to hide from situations face them boldly and come out flying that's what it means come out as a victor so well that's what the kotovaza tells you you have some vocabulary over here you can go over the vocabulary yourself the meanings are given today i will tell you about kodomonohi you all i'm sure do know about kodomonohi that is children's day it's celebrated everywhere and children are celebrated so well in japan also they have been celebrating this for years and years but children's day was always celebrated as boys day earlier boys were always celebrated as is all over the world and in japan as well you can read a lot of things here after world war 2 this celebration of boys day was changed into children's day and they started celebrating the 5th of may as children's day in japan and the 3rd of march which we have done earlier as hinamatsuri day as the girls day earlier two days were celebrated but after world war 2 they started celebrating 5th may as children's day now what they do on this day they fly koi nobori which is giant car wind socks outside their houses and celebrate that day with friends with children with family there is a very big folklore in japan there was a very famous boy kintaro known for his bravery long long back and this day is celebrated as boys day in his memory and parents want their boys to be as brave as kintaro and as determined in their goal as kintaro now the story the folklore is that a carp or a koi as they call it in japanese manages to swim upstream and up a waterfall to a gate called the dragon's gate leaps beyond that and then turns into a dragon so basically the folklore is that you have to be very determined very focused in what you want and that's what the parents want their children to be and thus this day is celebrated as children's day it coincides with the golden week also which is a big festive time holidaying time holiday period for the japanese and they celebrate it with their family and friends on this day they have rice cakes for um, children their sweet rice cakes chimaki and uh, kashi wa mochi they are all um, made out of mochi which is sticky rice some are sweet and uh, they are all had this is one of the popular dishes of uh, kodomo no hi and uh, all kinds of ningyo that is dolls in armor are decorated in the houses children wear those clothes and they go visit people visit uh, jinjas temples and pray for their well being these are the carps the flying carps these fishes these streamers which are hung and displayed some photographs are for you these photographs are all from the net you can see how these kites are made they fly kites these are the dolls they decorate them in typical samurai uh, attire and like this in proper formal clothes children dress up like this use these big uh, caps to wear to show that they are all very strong and these are chimaki and kashiwa mochi which is had on that day earlier the maternal grandmothers used to make these streamers on their own in hand send them to their grandchildren but now of course it's not done they are available they are displayed all over and people enjoy them they are hung for about a month month and a half and it is fun time well you have your assignments now 
match these kanji characters with the meanings, change the verb forms, the clues are given over here, you can look those up. Then what to say in these situations, practice your expressions, then words from brackets, particles from brackets, you have to choose and tick the correct ones. That is all that we have for you. Well, go home, study hard, practice with your partner and then we learn something new in our next lesson. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.